This is BBC Television from London. Normal programming has been suspended. We are now turning on the emergency alert system. Don't worry, this is not a drill, this is a test. This is only a test. The threat level is low, meaning no attack is imminent. Now activating the emergency broadcast system and the emergency alert system. Stand by for information and safety instructions. Apologize for the interruption to this broadcast. We will return to our scheduled programming as soon as possible. Please stand by for emergency information. Ensure your television is audible. Information and safety instructions will follow. Now commencing this emergency message. This is an emergency message from BBC Two. The following message has been transmitted at the request of the UK government, the Home Office, British Airways, Prime Minister Theresa May and of course, the BBC. Just a few moments ago, an Airbus A320 operated by British Airways bound for Belfast, Northern Ireland, flight BA93, crashed during takeoff from London Heathrow Airport Terminal 5. The cause of the crash was due to engines 1 and 2 catching fire. Amongst the passengers were a cappella group Pentatonics, who were on tour promoting their album, Daft PTX. The A320 wreckage is still on the runway, and BBC One's Liam Salisbury is the main investigator. He has yet to contact search and rescue teams and investigators. Despite the crash, all flights to and from Heathrow Terminal 5 will continue. It is possible that all passengers and crew were killed in the plane crash. Now, here are some safety instructions. If you are at Heathrow Airport Terminal 5, please remain inside the terminal unless you are boarding your plane via air stairs. Do not try to access the crash site, as the wreckage is burning and you might suffer the smoke. The runway that the wreckage is on has temporarily been closed until the wreckage has been shifted off. Please stay safe. This is BBC Two, apologising once again for the interruption and now getting ready to return to broadcasting. Prepare to stand by. Later. This is BBC Two, now happily returning to normal programming. watching BBC Two.